Let's talk about Don Lemon, who uh, you wrote the, the article in Variety that talked about the weirdness with Kira Phillips, the long history of alleged misogyny that he got very angry about, denied, uh, threatened to sue over. Let me just ask you, first of all, have you been sued? Uh, not yet. <laughs> okay. uh, so amazing. No, no, just, just a threat, but no actual lawsuit. Um, let's start there. I'll, I'll play what he said last night at the Time 100. But for people who aren't familiar with your in-depth piece, what would you say was the biggest headline out of it? The biggest headline, I would say, is that his purported misogyny dates back really far. Like the whole Kira Phillips incident uh, happened in 2008. Soledad O'Brien, 2008. It, it, there was, you know, um, nothing that's new here with the Nikki Haley comments. This had been going on and even more egregious, uh, allegedly, back in the day. The thing with Kira Phillips was very weird. He was reportedly jealous of her. They were co-anchors on a show and she got sent to Iraq, which was something he wanted. And then he started to act, I mean, truly, I've said it before, like like a single white female, you know, like a Glenn Close, <laughs> like, like really started to do, according to your reporting, do bizarre things to her. Yeah, that's how my sources described it. Very kind of unnerving. And it, it unnerved many people in that very tight-knit Atlanta crew that was working at the time together. Um, they all shared like a news pod. So uh, nothing went unnoticed. And mm -hmm. it was very unnerving for people. And it was to the point, according to your report, where he actually got a burner phone and started to send her threatening messages. I was just going through the piece again in preparation for this, but it was like, he said, you know, like, now you've really done it. And she had to figure out who's sending me these weird messages from a burner phone. This is bizarre. They did an investigation and you report that it, they found out it was Don Lemon that he was then fired. He was fired from that job. He was demoted after texting her. Now you've crossed the line and you're going to pay for it. They traced the text back to him from the burner phone. He was abruptly pulled from his co-anchor duties with Phillips, moved to the weekends. It was a demotion by any objective measure. Now he came out after this and said, it's all lies. The story's riddled with patently false anecdotes. No concrete evidence is entirely based on unsourced, unsubstantiated 15-year-old anonymous gossip. It's amazing and disappointing that Variety would be so reckless. CNN, we covered this at the time, said the Variety story provides no actual proof. I love this because, I mean, CNN is the one that would have the actual proof, instead relies on anonymous sources and unsubstantiated claims from 10 to 15 years ago. CNN is unable to corroborate the alleged accounts as if it had no record of this, what you report would have been an HR investigation that led to a main anchor's demotion in light of his firing this week. Do you, do you see that denial differently or what do you make of it? Well, I make that denial out to be exactly what I did three weeks ago, which was, it was very Trumpian. Uh, you know, it's just all fake news. Everything here is fake. And I was like, well, it's an undeniable fact that Dawn was moved abruptly from weekdays to the weekend, which by any objective measure is a demotion. So, um, you know, like, give me point by point what, what you are disputing. And it, there was no point by point. It was just, it's all, it's, you know, none, none of this is, uh, we can't, we can't corroborate, which is yeah. absurd to me, you know, like right, because human they, they, resources this is records, uh, maybe they're in a vault somewhere, but you can find the key to that vault and dig them up. And they're you can kept for a reason. People. Yeah, they're kept for a reason. Well, that's exactly it. So th that's what I was saying after the time. If, if, if this isn't, if you don't know whether it's true, you should have a, a working interest in finding out whether it's true because you've now partnered him with two other women who are complaining about him. So call up Kira Phillips. Why don't you ask her? She's still in the news business. She's at ABC. Ask her if it's true. And why don't you say, do, do one better and say, you know what, Kira, if we made you sign an NDA, you're released from it. Tell, tell the world about your experience with Don. We'd all like to know for the sake of Poppy Harlow and Caitlin Collins and every other woman at CNN. They didn't do that, but Don Lemon was gone, I don't know, within a month. Because once again, he had an on-air dust-up in which he diminished his female co-anchor and was very rude to Vivek Ramaswamy. So now he's out there. He goes to the Time 100, which is this annual event in New York where, you know, we try to pretend that we're all important, and was asked, keep in mind, he's been, he's hired Alison Gallus, who was let go. I mean, 
technically resigned, but was forced out of CNN for having an affair with Jeff Zucker. She was a comms person. He's hired her to advise him on how to communicate around this whole thing. And here's where he landed. It was a truly a surprise. <laughs> what, it was, what a surprise. Leaving well, CNN. I think that my statement speaks for itself. Yeah, it was a surprise, but life goes on. You know, that's behind me, and we'll see what happens in the future. I'm going to spend my summer on the beach and on the boat and with my family and just chill out, and then I'll see what happens next. Life is short, and you have to, whatever life hands you, you have to bob and weave and and, and do it. I'm a survivor. I come from strong, sturdy stock in Louisiana. I live my life with no regrets. I'm a survivor. He went on to say, people love me. <laughs> I'm a survivor. People love me. I'm the kind of person who lives with no regret. Okay. I mean, he's gotten like a little self-help there. And uh, he says onward. But the truth is, there no one's going to hire Don Lemon. They're just not like, w- when you did your investigation, did you find Don has a lot of support behind the scenes in this industry? Absolutely not. Um, and Although I do, I could see a scenario where he does resurface somewhere. Um, and, you know, I, I wouldn't be totally surprised, but... I think no one would ever pair him with a woman on air again. Uh, that has gone disastrously t- at least twice now. Um, back with the Kira Phillips, that that was in 2008. That was the last time Dawn was on air with a woman until Poppy and Caitlin. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't see it. I mean, how do you hire somebody who is a known misogynist? Like, that's really what he was fired for. And unlike the Tucker situation, it's all on the air. Look, you did the tough thing during COVID. You paid your people and pulled your business through the pandemic. And now doing the tough thing could qualify you for up to $26,000 per employee at covidtaxrelief.org. Government funds are available to reward companies with two or more employees who stayed open during COVID. This is not a loan and you don't have to pay it back. The program's complicated, but no one knows more about it than the CPAs and tax experts at covidtaxrelief.org. You pay nothing up front. They do all the work and share a percentage of the cash they get you. Businesses of all types, including nonprofits and churches, can qualify, including those who took PPP loans, even if you had increases in sales. You did the tough thing for your employees during COVID. Let covidtaxrelief.org help get you up to 26,000 bucks per employee. Visit covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.